Ricardo from the island of Kauai. Aloha. This is WWJ whipping with Joe from the island of Kauai. State the boy. Aloha. Anyway, today we've got the uh, we had the uh, crucial, the brand new crucial that came in and uh, from Shimano. It's a seven foot medium heavy, similar to the Fenwick. Uh, I love it. Anyway, I, I, I christened this rod on uh, on uh, uh, Friday and uh, on Friday, let's see, or oh, uh, Monday. Christian on Monday, guy on Monday. I broke the tip around six inches right after I did the christening. <laughs> I put it in my truck and, and ran over the rod and reel. So anyway, I had cut off six inches. I had to go and repair it. The Hui Fish Supply got it fixed. I picked it up and also picked up a HMG seven foot medium heavy for $78. For seventy-eight dollars for a Fenwick seven-foot medium heavy HMG graphite, Whew, can't beat the price. This one here retails for about a hundred and sixty, hundred and eighty. Anyway, we've got a uh, thirty-pound braid. We've got a uh, uh, uni knot here, power swivel, surgeon's knot, three, four feet of eighty-pound Andy, and of course the cockle lure, Papa Joe original. Three BBs one side, three BBs on this side. Total of six BBs. This lure has landed four GTs, including the hundred pounder. So we made a video earlier, but uh, I tried to load it yesterday and the other day, but it wouldn't load. So I'm not sure I'm gonna make another video anyway. So, uh, so for I like the crucial, even if it's six inches shorter. So this is a six foot six rod now, um, more of a heavy rod now, but it's really light, extremely light, lighter than the Fenwick, uh, but, but not much, but very light. A lot of backbone. I like uh, I like the guides. They had micro guides here. Very small guides. Very small. So it could go further to throw. And I like the handle right here, the cork, and then this little hole right here. I like this portion right here, so it don't get rusty. But what I don't like is this portion right here. It's made of polycarbonate or plastic, and when it gets wet, it becomes slippery. I love the short handle. So it tucks right inside of me, right by my elbow, and not further. So we're gonna do ten cast here. And uh, it's only about 80 yards, crank and pop. We put new braid on this reel. Um, and because uh, there's a lot of frayed in it, so I figured I'd just put it up. And since the top portion is uh, 125 yards approximately. Okay, this, this is like skipping from the top of the surface, looking for some omilu there. Looking for an omilu, it's racing across here. One, this is two. Tide's going low. I like to fish on the like going low tide or the peak low and coming up. Okay, this is two. Looking for one that's cruising around here. Looking for one that's cruising around. It's two. It's three. Crank and pop. Crank and pop. So it's a it's a heavy rod, so it's when you pull it, when you crank it toward you. And pop it, then the, the lure is coming, and that's what I like. I don't want it to bend. I, when I pull it, I want it to come. So it creates that action. Top of the surface. Okay, this is two. I'm trying to throw right in a pocket right in there. This is three. For a record of milo here. Looking for a record of milo. That's three, four, easy to crank, easy to pop. Four here, just looking for a record of milo here. 